I've definitely been guilty of this. I've been trying to act all cool, but shit, I'm not. Anybody ever have just things not go their way in the morning and you almost have like a panic attack? You're like, you're, 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 you're already running late to work. And next thing you know, the dog ran out the back and you spilled damn coffee. And you're like, oh my gosh, you need to make a phone call. And you're like, why the hell did my cell phone just die right now? And <laughs> has anybody ever experienced that? Of course. Yeah. Okay, okay, congratulations. You're human. <laughs> all right. So all that all, all that is is you have all these things that are flying off the hinges. So for me, overwhelm is coming from things not bolted down. Okay. So for example, if there was a fire right now, it, you know, going on right now, and then there was a freaking you know like a, a panther coming through my door right now, and then a, a freaking you know a, the, this the roof started falling on me right now, and this thing is this this light is flickering about a shock. <laughs> That would create overwhelm because there's just a, a lot of chaos. There, things are not bolted down. The roof should be stable. The light should be stable. There should be no fire in the back. There should be no freaking panther. Like, so what it is is this is what's going on because we all we all go through life, and, and we are all here because we're looking to better ourselves, our children, our situation, our parent. Like that's why we're here. That's why we're here. Okay, not because it's fucking waste damn time. Okay. And you know, guess what? You're human and we're all good people. Are you, you wouldn't even be here. You wouldn't even raise your hand and say, you know what? I want, I want to do better. But what happens is you're like, damn, it's hard. It's life happens. And how do I maintain positive? And no one knows that there's $75 in my bank account, like shit like that. Okay. Yeah. Here is Gabriel. This is Mike too. That's Mike Inc. Okay. And then we have all these different things that make up Gabriel or make up Mike or make up Cody. Okay. So this is wise consulting. There is, Mike's universe. Watch this. Can you all see my white whiteboard? Yeah. yeah. Okay, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Okay. My sword was getting a little messed up. Okay. So watch this. Here we go. Here is you incorporated. Okay. And then there's all these different things that make up you. Some of y'all have kids. That's that, you know, or that's your pets. You know, that's your family. And that's your mom, and that's your dad, and that's your your sister, okay, and that's your younger sister, your brother, okay, and then you have your career, and mm -hmm. you have your finances, and then you have your car. There's all these different things that make up people in the universe. It's very complex, okay. So you know this could be physical fitness, and what happens is is it's like you may be good at the gym because you're working out four days a week, you're you're getting muscle, you're losing weight, gym straight, okay. You just can't stand, you know, your current employer because your quote unquote boss is a you know what. Uh, and then, you know, you want to do these great things, but, you know, your family is, is they don't get it. You know, dad's always going to support you. Okay. Your sister think you crazy. Okay. Your other sister just kind of like neutral and your mom don't really know what the hell it is. You know, your dog. Oh, my gosh. The dog got sick. Oh, my gosh. You know, freaking my finances are not what they want. Okay, so what happens is all these things that are not in alignment are not in order that are sad faces. Okay, this creates charge. It's not buttoned down. And you don't know why, but when you wake up at 7 a.m., you feel that overwhelming pressure on your damn chest. I just fucking woke up. I've been up five minutes. Can I use the restroom first? Can I have a bottle of water? And you feel that damn. Some of you guys are nodding your heads because you know what I'm talking about. And all, you know what we want? We want, we want to be happy. As human beings, we want to be happy. We want to be acknowledged. We want to be appreciated. Okay. We deserve to be happy. Okay. We deserve to be healthy. Right. We deserve to, you know, have a, a beautiful spouse. And then your 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 world's fucked up. And 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 you don't know why, but what, what it is is you're out of alignment in these different areas. All these things are unbolted. Okay. It'd be like the house is on fire, the freaking dog threw up, the panthers coming in. So what we got to do is we got to go bolt down all these different things in our life that are out of alignment because life is happening to us versus us happening to life. We are at effect. So the way you do that is you go confront all the different things that are out of alignment in your life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You got to go confront it. Mm -hmm. You got to go confront it. Like, like I, I, man, you know, my, my boyfriend's so mean to me, you know, he's talking to women again. Or my, my wife, you know, she, when we were first together, she was just super fun and outgoing. And now she just became this boring part. You got to go confront that. It doesn't mean you punch them in the face. You got to go confront the situation by communication. 
Okay. Your boss, quote unquote, is a jerk. You don't like to be there. Okay. It doesn't mean you quit. It doesn't mean you have to go handle him or her. You can communicate professionally, but shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's plenty of other employers and companies and organizations I'll take you besides his ugly ass. Okay. So the overwhelm, the shit, you know, we, we got to take the kids to school. You know, the baby's mm -hmm. crying again. Oh my gosh, we're running late. Oh my gosh, there's trap. Well, shit, wake up earlier. Okay. Like, like, like you're not a victim. Nobody here is a victim. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. And we got to go do this mm -hmm. and we got to go confront and we got to go handle and mm -hmm. we got to take all these bad things that we don't want and don't like. And we got to start turning them into freaking what? We got to turn them into smiles. Mm -hmm. Okay. But guess what? That's a smile. That's mm -hmm. a smile. Okay. Guess what though? Just like your sister that don't believe in you or your cousin that's negative, mm -hmm. you're part of their universe. Mm -hmm. And guess what? People are entitled to their view. Mm -hmm. That's something I've learned in the last couple of years that I've accepted as truth. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Diana, you know, Michael shouldn't be doing that because he needs to think about the kids and you guys got to go buy a house. My mentor said I don't buy a house, but I own real estate. I own investment properties. I don't need to go correct my Aunt Caroline. It's her view. She's entitled to her view. I'm grown enough to be able to take her view and be like, okay, I got you. You know, I got a different viewpoint, but I hear you. You know, thank you for caring. Okay. So if your sister don't support you, she can have that. And you got to be okay with that. But that's not the point. The point is all things out of alignment, but, you know, bolt them down, handle them, confront them. And you'll find out that you get a little bit more spiritual, a little more lighter, your chest feel a little bit better. It's like, damn. <laughs> if you feel overwhelmed, there's something in your life that just needs to be handled. Okay. And you're, you're, it's, it's, it's okay to not be happy every fucking second. It's okay not to be Disneyland every minute. It's okay to be sad. It's a human emotion. Okay. Mm -hmm. But just whatever it is, uh, I'm writing down everything in alignment. I'm writing down everything out of alignment and I'm just taking them all one by one. Bam, 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 bam.